This short, simple guide to the element silver will provide facts and information for chemistry students who are learning about the periodic table and, in particular, the element silver. Each chemical element is given a unique chemical symbol which is used all over the world. The chemical symbol for silver is AG. The chemical symbols of elements come from their English, Greek, or Latin names. The first letter of a symbol is always a capital letter, and if there are any subsequent letters, they are expressed in lowercase. The word silver originates from the Old English Anglo-Saxon word seal for, meaning silver. Its symbol, AG, is derived from the Latin word argentum, meaning silver. All of the chemical elements are given a unique atomic number. The atomic number for silver is 47. Atoms are made up of three kinds of smaller particles, called protons, neutrons, and electrons. The atomic number is the number of protons in the atom. The chemical elements of the periodic table are shown in order of atomic number and identified by their symbol. The periodic table is a chart showing the symbols and the atomic numbers of all known elements, such as silver, in one large grid. The chemical elements of the periodic table are placed in order of their atomic numbers. Atomic numbers increase as you move across a row, called a group, or down a column, called a period. The atomic number of silver is 47. The element symbol for silver is AG. Silver was discovered around 4000 BC, and because of its shiny, attractive appearance and workability, silver has been widely used in decorative art since ancient times. Some metals, including silver, were used by some of the oldest civilizations, including the ancient Egyptians, Aztecs, Greeks, and Romans. Right up to the medieval period of the Middle Ages, people believed that only seven metals existed. These seven metals were iron, gold, silver, copper, lead, tin, and mercury, and are now referred to as the metals of antiquity. The element silver is one of over 100 different chemical elements that are known to modern chemistry. Each element is first identified at room temperature and pressure as being a solid, liquid, or gas, referred to as states of matter. Silver is a solid at normal room temperature and pressure. Each element has physical properties that can be observed and measured, such as color, density, and odor. The chemical properties are the characteristics that determine how a substance will react with other substances, such as water or oxygen. What is silver? In a general overview of the element, we can at first describe silver as a solid. It is a lustrous, silvery-white metallic element and is one of the scarcest elements. Most silver used today is obtained from its ores, including argentite. The leading producers are Mexico, USA, Russia, Australia, and Canada. Silver is prepared in various ways, depending on the nature of its occurrence, but especially in connection with the refining of lead and copper. The more specific physical properties of silver can usually be observed using our senses or involve a numerical measurement, such as determining its boiling, freezing, and melting points. The physical properties of silver are color, white, luster, lustrous shine, and is capable of a high degree of polish. Ductility, it can be beaten into extremely thin sheets. Malleability, capable of being shaped or bent. Conductivity, Excellent electrical and heat conductor. It has the highest electrical and thermal conductivity of any metal. Solubility. Solubility, ability to be dissolved. Hardness, a relatively soft metal. Density, it is a dense metal. The chemical properties are the characteristics that determine how silver will react with other substances when it is changed chemically. The chemical properties of silver are reactivity. Silver does not react readily with water or air at normal temperatures. Oxidation. A thin film on the surface of silver as a result of oxygen absorption that increases with temperature and pressure. It is quickly tarnished when in contact with sulfur compounds, turning quite black in time. Compounds. Silver forms complex compounds, most of which are soluble in water. Cyanidation. The extraction from ores requires cyanidation, the dissolution of silver in an aerated alkaline solution of sodium cyanide. Once the properties of an individual element have been identified, it is placed into a group of elements which have common properties and characteristics. Silver is in the group called the transition metals. The 38 elements classified as transition metals are found in the middle of the periodic table in groups 3 through 12. 
Only a few of the transition metals are colored. Most of them are silver gray or silver bluish. As with all metals, the transition elements are ductile and malleable and good conductors of electricity and heat. They are generally hard and dense, and less reactive than the alkali metals. Iron, copper, silver, and gold are important transition metals. Once the properties of an element have been established, we then have the ability to identify how it can be used. Silver has always been used as an indicator of wealth, and the New World expeditions and conquests in the early 1500s enriched the Spanish Empire for 300 years. Silver has a great variety of uses, including currency, coinage, jewelry, tableware, and in dental alloys. The properties of silver are classified by many other factors, including the melting point, boiling point, atomic mass, and density of the element. All of these precise measurements, together with additional facts and information, can be found on our website. So ends our simple guide to the element silver. We have created a unique collection of videos on many other important elements that have been developed to enable chemistry students to gain a fast overview of the properties of each of the elements, together with their discovery and history. Check out our easy video guides to the elements via our website.